Okay, Mark's about to make the cast, and notice that you know, he spoke earlier, there are actually six wraps of the, the right, £50 yeah. braid round here, and I notice you're wearing a finger stool, uh, obviously to protect your finger, finger against yeah. the, the sharpness yeah. of the braid, yeah? It's like cheese wire, if you don't... Uh, don't. Okay, don't. Is there a particular stance or way to get the distance? I mean, if you want to show us how you cast... Yeah, yeah I'll show how I cast. Um, Talk us through it as you're doing it. Doing it right, because these are a powerful rod. Yeah. If you've got a softer rod, obviously, we use a shorter drop. If this was a standard marker float rod, I'd be probably using something a drop like that to try and get some right. big distances. And the, the drop is the, the drop distance is, that the float sits down the yeah, blank. Yeah, it's the actual lead. You can see the lead there, it's actually halfway down the blank. Is that the right. spigot area or the jointed area? The reason why that is it gives you a bigger arc on the cast. Okay. So that's the reason why. Right, so you're relying on the lead to actually load the rod up. Load the rod, yeah. That's a, that's a four ounce cord uh, distance uh, lead there. Okay. It's, um, that's the one I use for my, right. my sort of stuff. Okay. Right, we'll show you through it. Talk us through the cast. Right, the first thing to do is obviously make sure there's no line tangled around the tip because with braid it's just going to take the tip clean off if okay. we're not careful. So always ensure that the, the tip yeah. is clear. Now I'm you're, you're doing that with the finger. finger. Mark's yeah. actually pulling on his finger. You can either do it that way or with your finger. I'll just use my finger. Okay. Mark's finger pulling spirits. on his finger now to ensure that the line is actually free running through all the guides and the tip ring as well and there's no tangles on the tip ring area before the cast is made. Now, That's it. It's all I'm going to do here then. It's Talk exactly to me about the, same. the stance. The stance is the same as I'm going to be casting if I was casting a lead, a PV bag, anything. I'm keeping my right arm as straight as I can get it. Right. If you can't, but if you can't keep it straight, lock him out so it's bent there. If it's bent there, lock him out so it can actually bend. But I like to keep mine as straight as I can get it. I put all my weight onto my back foot. Right. So you're leaning your whole, whole body, body back. Weight. If I've got room in a swim where I can do it, what I'll actually will be doing is exactly the same sort of cast, but I'd actually be standing pretty much upright, and then I would actually step into the cast okay. obviously here we can't really do that so what i'll be doing is very similar to it but i'll be doing what they call a rocking onto the front foot as you can probably see my foot my front toes are up actually up off the ground right. that's allowing me to as i come forward is to rock forward right okay so you, again you, you're putting your body, body weight, weight into the, cast, into the cast but it's not it's not an aggressive cast as we see is it, it no. it's it's a very time, time and motion it's timing isn't it's it timing with the aggression in the last part of the cast if you try to get the aggression, that's when things go wrong and things start getting damaged. Once you've got the timing right, then the aggression comes into it. Okay. Just talk us through the arms again. So you're holding the right hand high above your head, and the, the rod is in a central position. position. Yeah. It's a, a, across the top of your head, basically. Yeah. Rotate the shoulders in right line over. with your view. Yeah. All I'm going to do is I'm going to line myself up. I've picked a tree which I'm going to use as my my marker for the far bank. Yeah. The, the direction I'm actually going. All I'm going to do is I'm going to line myself up with the marker. Or the tree, and I'm going to come back, keep sure, make, make sure it's not tangling around that tip. I've just let it touch the floor, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to look up at 45 degrees here now, and as I, as I come forward, rocking onto this front foot, I'm just going to soft cast so you can see it. As I get to about 11 o'clock, which will be here, I'm going to pull in hard with my left hand. Right, so the left hand is pulling the butt down, down, yeah, and the right hand is pushing the, well, the, 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 the right, rod forward. The right hand is actually. The actual right arm is kept as straight as you can get it. That's just a pivot point. Okay. A lot of people are trying to push and pull. Right, so the right hand is just pulling the rod yeah. through the cast. It's the shoulder that's doing the work Fine. in this part of the cast. I'll show you the cast, and hopefully you'll be able to see what I'm trying to achieve. So I'm going to line myself up, pick a tree that I'm aiming at. I'm going to come back, let the lead just touch the floor, pick him off slightly, make sure he's not tangled. Look about 45 degrees as I come forward. Mark's actually stopped that cast because it was about a foot off the far bank, which is how many yards away? I don't know, it's, it's, uh, it's a fair way. It's a long way. <laughs> it's a long, long way, believe you me. Now, I noticed that first cast was quite a way over. You, you felt an area there? or? Yeah, there was uh, a bit of an area that I quite liked, so I've just actually... Uh, just brought it past it a little bit just to see what was there, but I'm going to have another, another go just to see if it is what I think it is. What are you looking for? I'm just looking for uh, the, like a, there's a gravelly area that goes onto a bit of silt, and I want to be fishing 
really just into the, the silt here, not on the gravel, just into the silt. Uh, so as I'm on the mark of this with the rod upright, which makes no difference. Right, that's just there, it's just coming up to. Right, that's just gone onto gravel. Right, now, I notice you're pulling back very, very slowly there. I mean, Chili mentioned something earlier about not having the rod up in the air because you can lift the lead off the bottom. Yeah, that's why a lot, when you mark a floating, a lot of people bring the rod down. Now, if I was fishing in a weed, a weedy situation, I would never, ever use the rod downwards. Right, because, for fear of picking up more weed more as weed. you come now, through. If I, right. What I'll actually do is I'll actually do it that way. Yeah. And I'll actually drag it very, very slowly. All right, so you're still in touch with, with what's going on what's down there. there. You're getting a picture, picture in your mind, in my mind of what you're coming back you know, All the videos that I've seen, that's why I don't like particularly seeing or using soft rods for markering. What happens is the rod bends over. This is going back from when I was used to feed a fish on the, on the rivers. You need a quite a stiff rod on the, po on, the, on the flow. The reason why I've got a stiffer rod is I don't want it to bend over and then when it pings back, it's actually it's, it's, coming, it's missing 10, 15 foot. Well, one of the videos I'd seen, it would actually prove what I was trying to tell people. That's why I believe now you're seeing a lot of marker rods that are very, very similar to this. Is because they've got, ah, uh, soft marker rods have got the place, but I also believe that stiff marker rods have got more of a place. That's, okay. that's my, and, that's my personal choice. better for what you do. What I do, that's more right, suited yeah. to your style right. of fishing and, and the way that you find it. Yeah, it does, yeah, even if I'm at shorter range. I mean, I've got, as you can see there, I've got some lighter marker rods, but I'd still prefer my heavier marker rod. Okay. I just think it just transmits the, the feel right. to me more, more through. 